Thank you, Congresswoman Chu. So I officially welcome you to our fourth national conversation on rights and justice. In 2014, I attended a civil rights summit at the LBJ Presidential Library to mark the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The summit brought four US presidents, civil rights leaders, scholars, and activists together to discuss the future of civil rights advocacy in America. One of the biggest things to come out of the conference for me was the realization that there is so much more to say about rights and justice 52 years after the signing of the Civil Rights Act. And the idea for the National Conversations was born out of this need to continue these crucial discussions. As a federal agency, the National Archives is responsible for the Charters of Freedom, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, and for the collection and protection of 13 billion other records that tell the American story and its continued challenges and successes towards creating a more perfect union. We've chosen the 225th anniversary of the ratification of the Bill of Rights to open a new exhibit, Amending America, in our Lawrence F. O'Brien Gallery at the National Archives Museum in Washington. As the permanent home of the Bill of Rights, no institution is better poised than the National Archives to not only celebrate the anniversary of this extraordinary document, but also explore its meaning for civil rights today. We want to use this moment to engage Americans in conversations about complicated issues such as class, gender, politics, race, religion, and sexual orientation through the national conversations. The content of the discussions will build on the National Archives holdings, connecting key fundamental documents to the challenges before us. But our larger goal is more ambitious. It's to advance discussion of these critical issues in communities across the nation and to bring to the forefront challenges to rights and justice that persist 225 years after the ratification of the Bill of Rights. The United States is a country built by immigrants. Most of our families came from other countries, whether it was Europe, like my family, or other near and far-reaching parts of the world. Of course, immigration is different today, and many of our families may not have been allowed into the country if today's laws were in place. In 2014, the U.S. Immigration, immigrant population was 42.4 million. This includes legal, permanent residents, temporary workers, and authorized immigrants. According to census data, the data there is an estimated 11,000 unauthorized immigrants currently living in the United States. In John F. Kennedy's book, A Nation of Immigrants, he reflected that every ethnic minority in seeking its own freedom helped strengthen the fabric of liberty in American life. Similarly, every aspect of the American con economy has profited from the contributions of immigrants. Let's take a moment to think about some of the immigrants who have helped create the America we live in. Founding father and creator of the nation's financial system, Alexander Hamilton, Naval Commander John Paul Jones, Blue Jeans creator Levi Strauss, Sierra Club founder John Muir, physicist and genius Albert Einstein, industrialist and philanthropist Andrew Carnegie, comedian Bob Hope, actresses Greta Garbo and Marlena Dietrich, composer and lyricist Irving Berlin, first female of the Secret of Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, dancer Mikhail Brishnikov, and chef Boyardee. <laughs> I could go on and on. We are a nation of immigrants and the contributions are endless. In the holdings of the National Archives, we have many records highlighting the immigrant experience in the United States, ship passenger lists, declarations of intention, petitions for naturalization, photographs of immigrants arriving at Ellis Island and Angel Island. We also have acts of Congress, including the Chinese Exclusion Act, the Immigration Act of 1965, and the Refugee Act of 1980. Several National Archives locations are across the country, as well as the other cultural institutions, have hosted the National con Conversations. Our first one concerning civil rights and individual freedom was held at the Jimmy Carter Library in Atlanta in May. Subsequent conversations concerning LB LGBTQ human and civil rights and women's rights and gender equality were held over the summer in Chicago and New York City. Our next one will take place in Dallas in February 2017 and will, and will concern educational access and equity. 
and our culminating event, Building a More Perfect Union in Washington, D.C., will take place in the spring of 2017. I hope you'll join us for these future discussions either in person or online. And I want to express our gratitude to our partner, the National Archives Foundation, for supporting this series. And a big thanks goes to our lead sponsor for the Amending America Initiative, AT&T, as well as the Ford Foundation, Seedlings Foundation, and Toyota for their belief in the support of the National Archives.